Hey, babies. What's up, my darling MVPs, and how are you all doing? Welcome back to Sail with Mimi Shostly Mimi, where you get the gist. I see they do waiting. I see the heart. Of course, you know there is no sleeping on a bicycle on those channels. If you snooze, you do well. You lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat, long thing? Kindly pause right there. Subscribe. And make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me. How do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the gist? I see the hot guys um netizens has been on ben they said at this point able can need to call out ben's obsession on anita like he always want to poke nose on anita's relationship he want to have a say or two about something going on with anita like that was how he went to go knock on the hoh door on anita and later came, come he came out and started telling anita so people said Anita and them um, so far started doing some kind things if they are alone you know people feel like he's actually intruding that he's actually doing too much at this point that what is all of this thing with Anita you know that if he wants to come out he should come out correct and also he said something to Anita um here he said that um Anita and Tofa are really giving that they look like people that would walk outside but Anita I'm um, sorry what's the name Nelly and Suj is will not even work immediately they st stepped outside the house it's not going to be work it's not even going to be a ship anymore so there is something Anita says Anita says something and like she said life outside is different you understand that things might be better or not for anybody no one you cannot predict and say this particular person is going to have it all rosy or something that's it will actually surprise you the one you think it's not going to amount to something great. It's the one you would see blossoming. So, outside is different from here and anybody can actually collect. You understand? I actually love that reply because how would you go and start discussing someone's friendship, someone's bestie with her? What are you trying to create? The same thing TJ is trying to put on um, this guy. What's the name? Kelly Ray. About trying to, you know, put the partner and himself join their head together is it what ben is trying to do here because how can you be telling anita about nelly saying he her ship will not work outside but you're saying anita's own will work what is your plan oga for her to start smiling over it for her to start rejoicing over it i don't get it anyways netizens has been on him they've been calling him out because of that and they've also been calling Ebuka to please do justice to Ben and ask him some questions. All right, coming from Frank Poets. I love every answer Anita gave him. That would be the case for everybody in this house. Life outside is different. Things might be better or things might be worse. You can't really tell. Ebuka should touch on Ben's obsession, please. So guys, what do you even think about Ben's and the Manita friendship? Do you think what people said about Ben wanting Anita but not working is the truth or you think they just have mutual um just natural friendship okay kofo warola says so ben went to being on the bang on the hoh -H door because he feels anita and tofa might be doing stuff you know people feels like it's so so annoying at this point and then um this person says swedish love says meanwhile they were just talking about outfits <laughs> i think ben just really like anita and you know i think also she really he really likes being close to her so maybe if the thing um, chini said about him might be true also now talking about anita let's talk about tofa so tofa was having this conversation with femi yesterday and it was about their ship with the nelita you remember there was this dynamic that um dami was always trying to explain about what was going on with tofa and suj so, um, Tofa just explained to Femi that he was the one that was supposed to go for Nelly. You understand? Before Sujna, you know, went. And, you know, when Dami was explaining it to, I think it was to Kesia, 
before they left you know i think it was the saturday before they left i was not getting it pure when to um tofa was like oh this is what is going on you know so tofa said he was the one that was supposed to be having anything with nelly but right now he's deep with anita that and he really do like anita and funny enough he has someone outside that he's actually talking to before they came into the house right now so that is just a dynamic meaning that normally you would have been tougher and nelly not tougher and anita wahala be like bicycle indeed though guys anyways comrade attitude says not tougher saying suj wanted anita initially he has someone outside so what happened <laughs> omo ichok you know i hope if anita gets to hear this in other ways i hope he's not gonna actually make her start second guessing again these boys desperately wanted sheep they did try and error till they got lucky so people feel like all of this thing is a gameplay when they start saying it's a gameplay to me i said what was it for you guys before i already said it that all of this is a gameplay i think tofa still wants nelly or wishes anita could be with him just the way nelly is with suj okay guys tell me what you think about that one meanwhile still with their convo they spoke about victoria they spoke about how much victoria has actually come out and be her bubbly self that they love how she's actually out there that is sweet to see and they said she's a sweet girl even tofa said her skin is skinning and they feel like she's gonna have huge fan base outside that fans are gonna like her outside and then femi said um she's actually just like nengi you know that Negi was also not into sheep, but it was just also, you know. Femi was just explaining. She said Victoria is a replica of Nengi. She's just everything, giving skin and whatnot. That was what they said about Victoria. Okay, talking about Victoria. Hmm. Guys, I don't know. One of the topics on the social street is on Onyeka, Victoria, and Ozi. Right now, Ozi full attention has been on Victoria, guys. Like, Ozzy is getting closer to Victoria, unlike the way he was with Onyeka. And then netizens are actually saying a lot about it. At this point, people are asking because the fans are actually coming for each other. And they've noticed Onyeka has been uncomfortable ever since Ozzy and um, Victoria started having a thing. I have also discussed about this here, not even once, not twice, because that's what has been going on on the social streets, you know, because many people have been dragging Onyeka because of this ship thingy. They feel like she is jealous because why? She has been carrying Victoria's name around, you know? So netizens feel like it's just her feelings in play. That all this thing going on is her feelings in play and her feelings is that she deserves to feel the way she's feeling because Ozzy came to her to tell her that he likes her. You understand, but the last time I think oh, Cheikozi did not ask her out, you know, he told her he likes her, yes, I remember. But did he ask her out? That is the thing, and already they knew he has someone outside. You get so, um, fans feel like enough of the drugs on Onyeka, you know, that her feelings is valid, guys. What do you think about this? You let me know what you think about this while we go to the social space and see what people have to say on Onyeka and Victoria. Okay, coming from Stacy, BB fans will force a yellow girl on boy, not caring if the guy like her or not. If the guy was with a dark chubby girl, they would insult her until she leaves the guy for their preferred yellow fine girl. All Onyeka has to do is move on and both Ozzy and Victoria become irrelevant. Okay, but meanwhile, saying this, that fans would actually make a fair girl a dark girl, that is not the case here because these people are in the house. Whatever fans is doing outside, the housemates do not know. With this write-up, it's giving <laughs> the housemates are seeing what is going on on the social space. You know, you saying oh, they would actually push a narrative for a fair girl to move to a, a dark guy. Now it's giving Victoria is seeing what is going on outside, or maybe Ozzy or Onyeka, they are also seeing what is going on outside. You guys already know they don't have access to their phone, so this comment is actually giving. Hmm, you know. Okay, moving on. Coming from Chineze, I thought we agreed that Ozetoria is the ship we stand. Straight to the altar ship was the tears again involving Onyeka over Indomi, a husband made for his wife. The brick is not ours though. How many megaphones do you all need to hear this announcement? A sibling ship we know and nothing more please. Okay, this is coming after um, Ozzy prepared noodles and he ate with Victoria. In fact, they've been bonding together. They've been bonding together really well. When Zion says one thing about Victoria is that she creates that safe place to have meaningful and deep conversation about life, past experience and moving forward. She will never engage in a 
trashy, meaningless conversations with her housemates, see how Ozzy is being open with her about his past. Okay, the cutest Kimi says Onyeka has every right to feel some type of way about Ozzy. The boy told her he likes her and they have been flirting. Now, out of nowhere, he's moving funny. I just don't like that she's blaming it on Victoria and she's scared. It's weird. She should drag Ozzy instead. Exactly. So, guys, tell me, do you accept the thing the cutest Kimi just said about this triangle right here? That's Ozzy actually led Onyeka on and now moving forward to Victoria. That the only thing Onyeka is doing wrong is actually coming for Victoria instead of Ozzy. Yes, Ozzy is the one creating hate amongst the two ladies. One guy knows what he is cooking. Trust me, he is not interested in both. He wants to create an imaginary triangle so that he will look like a trophy. He said it now that his doors are closed, that the girls are the Lulu, but he's heavily flirting and shining seats. Is he not supposed to be talking to them? Now, this is what you guys do I don't like. This is what you guys do I don't like. He's just giving me now the situation of um, Jari during the Bibi Zanzi season. Somebody will come out plain and say, see, see what is going on. It is left for the ladies to take their step back. So Ozzy made it known he has a girl outside. So if the ladies are not cool with it, I think they should step back. What do you guys think? They should step back. The ladies involving the, their emotions, it is on their own. Because for this person to let you know that, oh, I have someone who, I have someone who, and you're going to continue outside or something. You should already know how to just draw the line and be like, no. Except you want to play with your feelings. I don't know if you guys are getting me. So coming for Ozzy right now. So is he not supposed to be laughing with them? Or is he not supposed to have friends because he has someone outside? Okay. Ozzy has now fully shifted to Victoria because she's winning back to back. He's now seeing potentials in her. God, I beg, oh, Mr. Girlfriend wouldn't rest. I trust Victoria to handle him properly. Guys, I just want you guys to tell me your own notion on all of this thing. To me, there is no need dragging the guy at all. There is no need. Okay, using her for his games. The only hope we have for Onyeka and Victoria is Ebuka on Sunday. Now, what for now? Okay. At, the, at this point, I think you're just invested in Ozzy. Now, the thing is here, yeah, I think Ebuka will touch on this ship thingy and everybody will rest. The moment Ebuka mentions Onyeka's name, I think Onyeka will just take several seats back. Because the reason why this is a topic right now is because Onyeka has been going to Tom, Dick and Harry to have conversation about Victoria and Ozzy's ship. If not, this wouldn't have been a topic on the social space. And the reason why Onyeka is doing this is because she has actually fallen. You know, she has actually fallen. Girl that has just been on the edge and then she finally fell. And the person she fell for is actually not giving. You know, anyways, the game is the game. Remember, the team says no lose guard. If you lose guard, now you sabi yo. Anyways, guys, I'm going to be dropping my voice right here. And now to leave the rest for you guys in the comment section. Tell me what you think over there. Thank you so much for always sailing with me. Bye for now, babies.